In this video, I'm going to show you the most cost-effective and elegant way to set up your Atomos Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus monitor recorder. We're going to use the Samsung 870 Evo SSD together with the AndyScene Caddy and Caddy Reader. This is a complete how-to video to get you up and running fast. Now there are three ways you can mount it. You can mount it by using the caddy that comes with the Atomos Ninja, which is simply put the disc inside the caddy, or you can go to Andy Scene and use their kit. With this, uh, with, and with the Andy Scene SSD kit, they give you a little screwdriver. And the purpose of the screwdriver is that you have to take out a screw here, a screw here, a screw here. And then you can open the SSD case and remove the SSD that's inside. However, the screwdriver that was provided was useless. Now, the way I solved this particular problem was I also happened to have an Apple repair kit. Now, this Apple repair kit, it had toughened carbon. I'm assuming this is toughened carbon. Now, I can't find this on Amazon, so I wanted to find another kit. I've bought this kit on Amazon. I'm going to unbox it now, and then I'm going to use it to open another Samsung drive. I'll have links in the description to this so you can check it out on Amazon yourself and see if it meets your requirements. But I've tested it and it seems to be pretty good. So let's open the box. And what I'm going to be using for opening this, the Samsung drive is this particular screwdriver here. It's a 1.5 flathead. Now with the Atomos Ninja, which I'm recording on right now, you have pretty much three options for attaching an SSD disk. You might even have four options. The first option is you can buy an SSD disk from Atomos, which can be quite expensive. The second option is that you can buy something like this. This is the Samsung 870 Evo. Inside this disk, which I'm going to unbox in a moment, you have something that uh, looks like that, which will be your Samsung disk. This actual one is empty because I've taken the SSD out of it. But your options for mounting them are, you get your Atomos one and you can stick that into the back of your Ninja. If you're faint hearted or of a nervous disposition and don't want to go ripping it apart, with your Atomos Ninja, you get a caddy like so. And all you have to do is open the caddy, put your disk inside it like so, close the caddy and apply the screws that come with the caddy to there and you have an external disk drive. The advantage of this is it's pretty easy to install. You've got your um, four screws that come with the Atomos Ninja there. It's easy to install but it does kind of, it does ever so slightly block the fans. It's just a bit more bulky and it doesn't look as, shall we say, as neat as the Andy scene. So that's option one and two for people who don't want to go messing with SSDs. Option three is you can buy the Andy scene three caddy. And I suppose the reason you might want to do this is Atomos just gives you one of these in the box. But if you want to have multiple SSDs, you're going to need some more caddies. The Andy scene simple caddy just goes over this. It holds the SSD in place and you can just connect it in. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to mount this 870 Evo in an Andy Scene case. Now let's look up and see what Andy Scene give you. You got the Andy Scene box. Let's open it. Inside the Andy Scene box, you have something that looks like this. Instructions, tool, and this is the Andy Scene caddy. If you look here, it's a lot smaller, you can see the footprint of the Andy scene versus the Atomos caddy. So that's a lot cooler. Another uh, advantage of the Andy scene caddy, they give you a thermal heatsink protector. Now this thermal protector is not even in the Samsung disc. So you have an effect, I guess, upgrading its thermal ability by putting it in the Andy scene case. Andy scene also give you a tool to open the Samsung disc. Now I'm going to treat this with the respect it deserves. Don't use a tool, you'll damage the screws that are on the Samsung uh, disc. You need to use a good screwdriver set, such as this Wera, links will be below. And this is the screwdriver that I recommend. It's the 0.23 or 1.5 flathead from Wera. So if you buy the uh, disc, make sure you got the decent screwdrivers first. We don't want you ruining your day. 
you've got to find where the screws are. Now moving your finger around it, you can see that there's a screw under this packing here. So what we've what we got to do is um, remove the sticky label. So I'm going to remove the sticky label here and remove the sticky label there. And so I guess I was wrong. There is one use for that useless screwdriver that came with the Andy scene, and that will be to uh, remove this sticky label because I don't want to get my nice Weaver screwdriver all sticky. So let's do that now. So under the O of the Evo, we just pull out the, just make space, we pull out the, the covering, being careful not to damage the screw. Just move it back here and there should be another one under here. So if I just scour, make a tear, just start tearing around here. And I haven't tried it with a two terabyte, but I believe you can connect in a two terabyte one also. Doing it this way, for the price of one half terabyte, 500 gig Ninja disc that they sell, Atomos disc that they, that's sold by Atomos, you'd probably get five of these one terabyte discs. So this really is the uh, cost effective way to do it. So now I'm going to put that screwdriver in here and I've got a good grip and I'm going to unscrew the screw. Here we go, this one's coming out. Now you don't want to lose these screws because these screws are going to be used inside your caddy. I've got to get this labeling out of the way. I think it's interfering. Here we go. So the lesson here is get as much of this material removed before you try and remove the screw because that's a mistake I just made here. That's two screws out and let's just make plenty of space here to get the final screw out. And this is where, as I said, using a decent screwdriver comes in because if you damage these screws, you've had it. Okay, so that's the, now we remove the caddy to reveal the SSD. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, wasted space on the SSD. In addition to that, it doesn't have any thermal protection, but here is the thermal protection we are going to apply to it. So if I look at it, the thermal protection can, needs to go down to about, out there. Just going to cut another little bit off of it, like so. And let's just double test it, check it. That should be about good. And I need to come in by about this much here. And I'm going to keep that thermal protection for other uses because who knows, there could be a time where it comes in useful. I had a panic moment just for a second because I thought I might have cut it at the wrong side, but no, this looks good. And there you go. And just out of interest, I can probably put a bit more thermal protection part of the chip. So I'm just going to cut off. And that does a job. The thermal protection is on. So now let's get our Andy scene out. that down there like so. Remove our SSD like so. We've got the thermal protection on the SSD and just drop it into place. We now take one of our screws and we apply the screw, one screw here ever so loosely. Oops. And I think I'm going to put on some anti-static glove given I'm manhandling it a bit. I'm going to give up any ambitions I've ever had of being a surgeon because I think my hands are a little bit too shaky. There we go. Just put it in loosely at first. Okay, so now we um, put in this final screw here. But if your hands are steadier than mine, you should have no problem, especially with a decent screwdriver set. 
and in she goes. So I've tightened that. Now I'll tighten this down. And so we've got our SSD in the Andy Scene Caddy. So finally, we need to put on the case. Andy Cine provides four screws and an Allen key. So let's uh, put the screws on diagonally. I'll put this in here. So let's get this one done. And now we'll do the other diagonal. My dad always taught me that was how you change tires, do the opposite bolts. Now these aren't quite tires and it's at least 15 years since I changed the tire, but um, it feels good to work with tools. Next thing, I'll be chopping wood. The joy of being able to fix things. And doesn't it look beautiful? Isn't that, doesn't that look so much better and cool to be attaching to the back of your Atomus Ninja 5 or 5 Plus than just buying a ready-made solution? You learn something by doing this because you have dismantled an SSD and put it into a new caddy. So you've done something physical with your hands and makes you think you're a bit brainier. So let's go to the next stage now. And so there we have a Andy Scene Vlogger set up with a one terabyte Samsung 870 disc. Links for all of the equipment needed for this will be in the description below. Now, you've got your disc, but in order to make it work, when you insert it in the Ninja, you've then got to format the disc and then you're going to be good to go. We're going to do that next. Okay, so I've got my Atomus now attached to a to the power supply. This is a mains power supply that comes with your Atomus Ninja. It just uh, you can either put an NP battery there. Any Sony battery that begins with NP will work because the important element is these two connections here. So I think you can get an NP750 or whatever, uh, which has got more capacity. So you've got the various ones, but get the biggest NP battery that you, obviously the bigger the battery, the more it comes out the back. So you get your NP battery and you just slide it in and that's it. There's a release key here. You push that down, it comes out. I guess push it in just to make it easier to get in. That's your NP battery. Right now I'm using the I'm using the power supply that comes with the Ninja 5. So this is plugged into a transformer on the mains. So that's my power supply. But now here's the Andy scene. You see, if you're to use the Atomus Ninja cage that comes with it where you put your Samsung disc in, that's how much space it takes up. You can see it's overlapping the outside of your Ninja. So it, you know, it works, it's a solution and you don't have to go tearing your um, Samsung disc apart, but I just don't think it's as elegant a solution. So we take that off, but yep, yeah, I mean, make use of it by all means. Here is the Andy scene. We put this in, just slide it in like so. Looks a bit more elegant, don't you think? So from the other side, you can't even see that the Andy scene is connected. Looks better. Okay, so now to set up your Andy Cine, we're going to just power it on. And you can hear it coming on now. So right now you can see that the record button is greyed out. That's mainly because it doesn't realise it's got any media there yet. So the solution is you click on the right hand menu button then scroll across to media. Here we go. Tap, press on media and you'll get the format option. Now when I click, when I press format, the disc will format and then the record button will become available. So I click format and are you sure you would like to format this drive? So I press on format drive. It's formatting and now you have the record facility. We are now Good to go, we're up and running with a Andy Cine one terabyte disc. Yeehaw! Okay, that's it. Links to everything used in this video are provided in the description. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.